Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to make frosted effects with our HTML and CSS. You can see that it is in our screen and in this div it is looking very smooth and nice. Nowadays it's very trending that you can see it in everywhere these frosted effects and it's looking very nice. So let's make the frosted effects. As you can see that we have an empty HTML and CSS. Also we have an image here. So first of all let's create a boilerplate and let's give it a title of Frosted class. Frosted effects. And after that first of all we need a div with a class of container it will contain all the elements and after that we will have our div of frosted class so let's have a class name of frosted and under this frosted div we will have our content we can use anything so for now let's use h3 and save it and Let's link our style sheet and open it with our live server. And here it is. So let's set it here so that we have a good visual. Now you can see that in this yeah, there is some gap. So first of all, let's remove the gap. Padding will be 0 and margin will be 0. So it will remove the gap and also what we can set box sizing border box. And now you can see that there is no extra gap. So after that let's come for the container. And here what we can do is now we need to set our first div in the center so we can do it with the help of flex so we can say that display flex and justify content center and align content align items center so after that we can also give it a height of 100 vh so if i save now you can see that our content now in center so after that what you can do is we can use an background image of this container so background background URL will be our I save you can see that here is our background now also we need to set no repeat and also background size will be cover now uh, we can't see our text because the text color is white so what you can do is we can say that color will be white and now we can see the text so after the container let's go to the frosted div And here let's give it a height of 400 pixel and width of 400 pixel and also set a background so that we can see that RGVF 0 0 and opacity will be 0.6 or 7 now you can see that that's our background and that's our first div. Now we can notice that the text is in corner. So we can set the text in the center of this div. So what you can do is display flex and justify content center and align item center. It will make the text in the center. Now what you need to do is 
we need to add a pseudo element of this first set so what we can say after and now first of all set the content to nothing and also we need to set the position will be absolute you can see that we set the position absolute so we need to set the position of the first set relative and after that what we can need to do is we need to set the top zero so it will start from the top zero and bottom zero and right right zero and left will be zero so it will take all the place so it will start from the top zero and left zero right zero and bottom zero means it will take exact same height and width and same position of this first tip so if we set a background of this sort of element so we will see that so let's set a white background with the opacity of 0 0.5 now you can see that it's containing full height and width of our first set. Now what we can do is we can add a box shadow. Now what we can do we can add a box shadow. And here it will be inset and also 0 pixel x, 0 pixel y and 3 or 2000 pixel blur and we can set a color of rgba let's have a our white color and after that we will add a filter of blur and it will be 10 pixel now you can see that it's taking the effects but it's not what we are looking for so what we need to do is we need to set this frosted background you can see that in this frosted we have a background of black we don't need black background so what we need is background will be inherit so that it will take the background of this parent which is the container so after that what we need to set is in this sort of element we need to set also the background is inherit so it will take this parent background if i save it now you can see that it's taking the parents background but there is a problem if i decrease the blurriness now you can see that it's taking the background of the parents but it's not what we are looking for because it's covering whole new images so what we need to do is background attachment fixed now it will fix the issue now it's covering as we want it so what you can do is we can say that 10 pixel blur and the frost and effects is started to looking right there so after that what we need to do is we need to sharp the corner so how we can sharp the corner it's very simple so we need to set the position of the top is minus 10 as it will also left and right if i save you can see that so it's mean it will start from before the 10 pixel of the deep frosted okay so what we need to do now is overflow hidden in our first rate. now you can see that it's have simple and good sharp corner you can see it and that's looking very nice and also you can see that box shadow you can see the color we used white you can use any color let's have a blue if i save you can see that blue is very looking nice with this image so the now problem is we can't see our h3 tag or content which is under the frosted div because it's covering the after sort of element now 
so what we need to do we need to set this first state element before this after sort element so what you can do is we can set the z index might be minus one and this z index will be one now you can see that we have our first text and it's looking good so that's how you can use first glass effects if i zoom out and zoom in you can see that it's looking nice and also you can use blur as you want okay you can increase or decrease the blur if you want and also you can experiment with all of this number so that you can come out with your own result so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also share don't forget to subscribe and i will see you on the next video